Hello everyone, we are at this park near Maple Bluff. We got a worm on a hook and we're gonna toss it out of there into the river or lake. We're going to, uh, yeah, gonna go on that dock over there, as you can see, and toss this out as far as we can because we wanna get as deep as possible. It's about three feet off the dock, but I'd like to get in seven, eight foot of water, which I think we can get to. Excellent, very nice. And now we are gonna wait for a big fish and then fish some more with other stuff. Look at that pole bend. I just lost my bell too. I can't really see it down there. I kind of see it, but not really. And this thing is huge. This thing is huge. Oh geez. I didn't think they would come this close actually, but I just lost my bell and I'm not very happy about losing the bell. But I am very happy about gaining a gato fish. Just got to figure out where the bell is after a while. I think I see it in the water too. But this is definitely a big one. Actually, it's probably not a huge one, but it just shows that they do come this close and it was right for me to come here. It's either a carp or a catfish. By the things I've caught in Mendota, it's most likely a cat. There it is. Big channel cat. Oh, no, no, don't go under the bridge. No, 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 don't do that. Do not do that. Oh. Come on, come back here. Don't go under there. Oh, shoot. It went under the pier. I hate it when they do that. There we go, this way. No, 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 not, not that way, this way. This way, catfish. Ah, uh, gotta get tired after a while. Well, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a really good one. That's what I've been waiting for. All right, it's gotta get tired after a while. I need my net, which is all the way back there too. You know what? I can walk it around. Come on, catfish. Play the gato game. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's like a 15 pounder for sure. All right, big fish. No, 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 no. Well, that might be a 20 actually. No, it's probably like 15, 16. All right, all right, come on fish. I gotcha, I gotcha good. Oh, that's a, that's a nice fish. It's a really, really nice fish. All right, it's not, I don't think it's 20, but it's a good 15, 16 pounds and it bit the worm. So uh, yeah, really nice catfish for today. It'll fit in the net, unlike the, not, unlike the flathead, it'll, it will actually fit in the net. It's not as big as that, but yeah, very, very nice catfish. Probably in the teens, but yeah, I like it. Channel catfish. 13 pounds, channel catfish. Very, very nice. I'm gonna let this guy go and uh, hopefully catch another one. All right, not the biggest one, only 13 pounds. Far cry from the 22 that I caught this spring. Let this catfish go here. Just kind of shift them out and it should be okay. And that's another one over there. All right, I got another one, I think. Nope, but it's not a catfish. But I'll take whatever it is. It's probably like a good bass or something. Saw it out there jumping the distance. Is that, a, is that a smaller catfish? I've never caught a smaller catfish on Mendota. They're all pretty big on Mendota, but I, oh, that's a big bass. That is not a catfish. That is a, a smallmouth bass. And it's a big one though. It's not like gigantic big, but it's pretty big. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good size one. It's probably two, three pounds. All right, I'm not gonna take this guy out of the water yet. Actually, you know what? I'm probably just gonna bring them around to shore. Oh, this is a smallmouth. All right, this is a decent sized one. I'm gonna probably just bring them around to shore. So I don't wanna. You know, I wanna weigh the smallmouth. You know what? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. He he's not deep hooked, so I'm gonna keep him in the water and then get my landing gear that I just used to get the catfish for the smallmouth and hopefully. Oh, he's going under the pier too. I can't let him do. This is like a two, three pounder. This one actually might be a personal best. 
but smallmouth bass. I don't really want to take them out of the water for very long because it's not a catfish. But yeah, smallie right there. You can see I get my other stuff and hopefully uh, land this bass. There you go, smallmouth bass. Probably two, three pounds. We're going to see how much it actually weighs. Smallmouth bass, about two pounds. Very, very nice fish. Like fishing here today. All right, smallie. There you go. Back off the dock and it goes off. Looks like the fish are coming shallow. Two really good fish in a short amount of time. We're just going to sling this out there and maybe around those docks we'll actually get another fish. The excitement has finally come down a bit and I have three poles out now. One with worm under bobber and two with worms on the bottom. Didn't get any bluegill cut bait or anything so I'm not so good about that but we did get one big channel catfish and one decent smallmouth bass and it's not too bad. We're gonna see if we're gonna stay here for a while and see if we can get anything else but even if we don't it's been a pretty good fishing session I'd say. Just as I thought we were gonna get some peace I think we have a fish here. And uh, I did see it bend over my pole a couple of times and I'm pretty sure it's still on. Yep, it's definitely still on. I wonder if it's a big one or a small one. It could be a turtle too. I've caught turtles in Mendota. It does not seem to be a cat, but it's, I think it's a little small to be a cat unless it's a bullhead. But it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a bullhead actually. If it's a bullhead, it's a really big one though. Is it a, is it a lesser catfish? Did it just come off the hook? I don't think so. What is it? Is that a cat? No, it's a bass. Is that a largemouth? Walleye? What is it? I can't tell. Carp? Is that a cat? Oh, it's a drum. Yeah, you know what? Eventually, you're going to get one of these. Eventually, you're going to get one of these. But that's not a bad drum. That's like a two, three pound drum. Well, it's like a one and a half pounder. I'll take it. Freshwater drum. Not too bad. Not too bad. Freshwater drum, also known as a sheep's head, sad fish, whatever. But uh, yeah, not too bad, but uh, yeah, it's going back. See you, drum. All right, third fish. But you know, all of them have been pretty big, so I'll take it. I'm gonna sling this way out there and maybe we'll get another one. Cause uh, you know, there could be even bigger fish hiding out there. Look at that, look at that bend. Something took the worm under bobber right in the middle of the swimming area too. There are really good fish out here. This place is stacked. I'm telling you, stacked bras, stacked. Uh, it seems like a decent fish. It's not a big one. It's not a huge one. Could be a bullhead, honestly. Nah, it's not a bullhead. It's probably just another drum or something. Is it? Let me see. It was a worm under bobber, so it could technically be anything. So another drum. Oh no, it's a walleye. Oh, that's a good walleye too. Walleye fish. I think that's a good, uh... oh yeah, that's like, that's really nice. That's like a good 16, 17 inch. Probably not enough to keep. Actually, it might be big enough. Yeah, I think that's big enough to keep. But I'm not hunting for dinner. I'm just hunting for uh, fish for fun. So the walleye is lucky. Mr. Walleye is not going to be Mr. Walleye dinner. It's going to be Mr. Walleye. I have, I'm going to get a picture with Mr. Walleye and then I'm going to let Mr. Walleye go. But that is a big walleye. All right, Mr. Walleye in the net. 19 inch walleye, well, 20 inch walleye actually, right on the dot. About two pounds or so, very nice fish. While we were handling that walleye, I think I might have gotten another fish on this side. This place has a lot of fish. It just might be another bullhead because they're always around here at night. But uh, we're gonna see if this has a fish on it. Yep, it has a fish on it. It's probably another drum though. By the way it's fighting, it wasn't, didn't really feel like a catfish. And it's a smaller drum, I believe. Is that a drum? There it is, freshwater drum. I'll take it, I'll take it though. Not really much to write about them. Not really looking for these, but another freshwater drum. This one didn't even eat my bait. So we're just gonna take it out and reuse the bait. All right, see you, drum. All right, we're gonna dump this back out. And my dream is that a big flathead comes up. However, it probably won't happen because I don't think there are flatheads in this lake. But maybe I'm wrong, hopefully I'm wrong. All right, guys, 
that pole is definitely has a fish and it's a pretty lively one so it's probably either a drum or maybe a catfish is just dwaddling out there although it's probably a drum wouldn't mind if it was a walleye either there's definitely a fish on there it's not super big so it's not a gato Whoa, oh okay maybe i'm wrong maybe it is a catfish oh it just got a lot bigger yeah yeah i'm guessing it's a catfish or a really big bass one of the two but it's nightfall so i'm gonna guess it's a cat oh that's definitely a cat there's, there's not a bass isn't going to be able to do that for the most part unless it's like a 10 pound bass which i would welcome honestly i've been trying to catch a 10 pound bass forever in wisconsin and i bet some of you have been wanting to catch a 10 pound bass forever in wisconsin as well and have just not been too successful in catching a 10 pounder this is this dock is probably one of the best fishing areas around here yeah. probably i mean maybe i don't know it's really more of a swimming spot. Oh man, this one is really, really fighting hard. Is it a flathead? No, I don't think so. I have plenty of string though. I'm crawling it back too. Let's take a walk with this one because this one's actually going this way, which is good because my net's over there. Otherwise I would have to walk it to my net. I might just run out of bait today early and I don't mind that at all if I just used all the bait and caught all the fish. Usually if I run out of bait, it's because the fish pwned me and uh, yeah. Let me actually just set my camera down just so I don't run into it and shove it into the water. But yeah, I think this is a catfish. That's the only thing that's powerful enough to have this kind of pole. Oh no, 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 don't go under the, jeez. Why do these things always try to go under the dock? This thing didn't go crazy like the other one initially but i'm pretty sure it's a big cat yeah it's a cat i rarely catch two big cat oh my gosh i rare oh this one is really really trying to work me my hands are starting to get tired now on this one is this one bigger i don't think it i saw this silhouette i don't think it's actually bigger i do not think it's actually bigger but it's trying to get me around that dock area, but I can just walk towards that dock area. <sighs> Knock at it. What? <sighs> oh my gosh. This is, oh, that's not good. It, it's actually got my string. Nope, didn't get my string stuck. It's trying to go back in here, jeez. This catfish is taking me for a walk, baby. Catfish is definitely taking me for a walk, folks. But it must be getting tired now. Is it even bigger than the last one? Is it just, yeah, it's a channel. Darn, really hoping it'd be a flatty. So this one was really lively. That's a big channel though, like all the others, probably 10 plus. I think it's probably like 12, 13 pounds, like all the other ones, basically, at this point. Nope, don't go under the dock. That one might be slightly bigger. Not that much bigger though. They're about the same size. They're all about the same size. This is, a, this is not a 20. If it was a 20, I could tell. Definitely could tell if it was a 20 because those just look different once they hit that size. This one is in the teens somewhere. All right, come on fish. Come on. You never beat Mendota for big catfish, folks. Uh, actually, maybe you can on the Wisconsin, but those are the only two places in the state of Wisconsin. That's basically like the Wisconsin River is the only place that can rival Lake Mendota for big catfish. But yeah, oh, definitely a fighter. It's not giving up yet. Actually, yeah, that one is bigger than the other one. I am gonna have to uh, probably, oh yeah, that one's fatter. Probably a 15 or so. Actually, I don't know, I can't tell. They, they all look about the same size. But another one, another big fish. I will take it, I will take it. Come this way, I gotta get you in the net. Gotta get you in the net. Probably take, I'm probably gonna take this one on shore to weigh and stuff because uh, it looks about the same size as the other one, honestly, but you never know. Could be like a surprise 18 or something, but yeah, channel catfish. All right, let's get it. 
I was really hoping this would be a flathead. Hoping that one of these days, one of these will be a flat. But wish not granted. All right, that's a good one. Okay, need to, it's gotta be somewhat tired at this point. In the net, eh, it's about the same size. All right, fish, got another channel. Maybe slightly bigger, maybe about the same size. Channel gato fish. Just weighed it. It's exactly about 13 pounds, just like the last one. So we're just gonna unclamp it and there it goes. Channel gato fish. Much less graceful than the walleye, but uh, it's a catfish, it'll survive. Got a lot of banger fish tonight, folks. A lot of banger fish. I like that. So we're gonna toss this out again. We're almost out of bait, but uh, a couple more baits and get me a couple more banger fish, I think. And banger fish is what we're all about. There we go. That's far enough. And uh, hopefully it'll get us another big fish. All right, I think I got a fish over here. This thing keeps ringing time and time again. Yep, that's a fish. That's definitely a fish. It's looking like a drum or a catfish. Let's see how big it is. It's not a catfish. No, it, is it? I think it's a drum. If, a cat, if it was a catfish, it would feel like it would weigh like 10 pounds. But uh, I think it's a big drum if it is a drum. Could be an eye, because they will bite bottom worm bait for sure. Walleye will for sure buy bottom worm bait, but I think it's a drum. See, it's a pretty big drum though. Eh, it's a drum, I can see it. Oh, it's bigger than the others. Eh, it's not really that much bigger. It's like two, three pounds. It's the third drum of the night, but they're not bad ones. I'll take it, I'll take it. I think I'm gonna weave it over here. It's not big enough to really fight me, but I'll weave it over here. Yeah, it's like two and a half maybe. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. All right, poor fishy. Come over here, I'll get you in the net, and then we'll unhook you, and then we'll release it. This is like taking my dog for a walk, except the fish isn't as big as my dog. All right, fishy, come here, come here. These docks are great fishing grounds, but only for tonight, because they could be completely empty tomorrow night. You guys that fish Minota know how this goes. All right, that's a good one. Like two and a half pounds or so. Very, very nice. All right, we got our uh, handy dandy net of death over here. And uh, yeah, that might make pretty good soup one day, but not today. There we go. There we go. All right, Mendota drum. This one is probably 19, 20 inches. And yeah, probably like a two and a half pounder. I like it. Definitely bigger than the others. About two and a half, like I said. See ya. Scared that minnow that was nearby. Seems like all the drums are on this side and the catfish are on the other side. But that's fine. This is my last piece of worm. I only got three more pieces of worms out, but caught a lot of fish today. So regardless of what happens, if I catch something or not, it's been a good day. And I thank the Lord for the good fishing times. All right. Let's just toss this out there. And uh, yeah, since there's no boats on the lake when it's like super dark, it's excellent fishing time. A lot of fish are more nocturnal, so I love fishing at this time at night. I'm also an elite ninja, so if anyone tries to attack me and uh, mug me, I will destroy them and use them as bait. Bobber is down in the water. These fish are just not giving up, are they? It's either gotten caught on something, but there's a fish there. My guess is there's a fish there. It's pretty shallow, so I can actually see where it is. <laughs> but the bobber doesn't go down unless there is a fish, and I think this time it's a bluegill. Blue gillish, actually it's a rock bass. It's a pretty, no, it's a bluegill. It's actually a pretty big one. Blue gillish fish. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> see a fish, and off it goes. Well, we're completely out of worm bait, so I guess I'm gonna, go back to the car and put this pole up and then wait for the other two to hit but it's been a good night tonight stock full of fish just for tonight i bet in two days there'll be nothing here though i think i got another one third a big catfish of the night i was about to go in too maybe that's not a catfish actually it, no i think it is i think that's the only thing that's big enough to do that 
Yeah, it's definitely a catfish. I was thinking it was like a... Oh no, it's not a catfish. I thought it was a catfish, but I think it's a drum. Yep, that is a freshy drum. That's all right though. It's not bad. Let's take another one. It was a... Uh, this one's smaller than the other one. This one's probably like one and a half, two pounds, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad fish. I'll take it. And yeah, another exciting fish for tonight. Well, not that exciting. I just lost a bell for this as well. So, fresh water drum. I'm gonna see if I can go retrieve my bell, but uh, nice fish. All right, fish, see ya. Well, that was a lot of fun. I caught two big catfish, one good walleye, one good bass, and several drum. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a rain tonight. After that, there might not be any fish there tomorrow. That's just how Lake Mendota fishing goes. Got lucky today. Hit the right place at the right time. You can also go fish there if you want. After people get done swimming there during the day, go in the evening or at night, basically. Uh, if you're interested in any of my other Lake Mendota videos, check out the lower left corner or check out any of my other videos or playlists with um, fishing around Wisconsin, Missouri or other places. So please like and subscribe, hit the bell notifications button and drop a comment. It helps with the algorithm. And uh, I will see you guys next time.